Anytime you have in a church and you have members complaining about something, we need to find something for them to do. Right. Wait a minute, is your man like that? Right. Do they come in a bunch of three, four dollars? There are going to be some problems to occur. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean you run away from problems. Right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Shannon. Our lesson today comes from Acts chapter 6, 1 through 7. And we call this lesson, uh, Seven Chosen Men to Take Care of the Business. Please stay tuned. For being here uh, on this Lord's Day, and we thank you who are not members of this congregation. Thank you for gracing this audience with your presence. Amen. And happy to see those who've been away, who have been sick. And let us continue to pray for those who are bereaved at this hour. Amen. Those in particular, those down in Texas. Amen. Today in our lesson, we're going to talk uh, uh, a little unusual lesson. I'm getting ready to do a series of lessons on leadership. Mm -hmm. And I want everybody, to, if you would, to pay attention and uh, get a copy of the lesson and also encourage others to come. Right. In our lesson today, we're going to talk from Acts chapter 6, 1 through 7 there. I hope you can see this. Acts chapter 6, uh, 1 through 7. That's our text. Can you see that? Amen. Now, our lesson today, unusual, but it's from the text, seven, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. Seven chosen men to take care of business. Yes, sir. Let me give you a little background of our lesson, our introduction. What we have here, we have the church is growing at Jerusalem. And any time a church grows, there are going to be growing pains of some type. There are going to be some problems to occur. But that doesn't mean you run away from problems. Now, we have... Remember this, that church will have problems. Problems should be solved. Yes, sir. In our text, the problem is between Jew. Look at this. Please don't miss this. The problem is Jew. With Jews, Jewish brothers. The issue, neglect of daily supplies for widows. Listen to me carefully. We have the Hellenistic uh, Grecian speaking Jews. Both of them are Jews. Mm -hmm. Some of them spoke Greek. Right. But they're still Jews. They're brethren. Then you had, watch it, live, they, they were living outside of Palestine. Then you had the Grecian Hebrew speaking Jew. They spoke Greek. Uh -huh. The other one spoke Hebrew. Yes, sir. Living inside of Palestine. Now listen to me carefully. Now, now we got the problem here, and the problem was the widows were being neglected. Well, what widows? They were the men that were complaining. It was their will. Uh -huh. You're listening to me carefully. Now, uh, when the problem occurs in any situation, the people that's doing the complaining, you need to put them to work. Right. That's good, preacher. Did you hear that? That's good. Anytime a church, you have members start criping and complaining, you need to find something for them to do. Right. I'm yes, going to say that again. Anytime you have in a church and you have members complaining about something, 
We need to find something for them to do. Right. Good, preacher. Okay? That's what's going to happen here. Now, what we have here, we have a multiplication of members. What do you mean? Look at the text. It says, and in those days, when the number of disciples was multiplied. What do you mean? The gospel is being preached, and the church is growing at the root. Uh-huh. This is the first problem that we have in the church. It's not a doctrinal problem. It's a social problem. All right. Mm-hmm. Please get this now. But uh, social problems have to be dealt with right. in the church. Now, so we have the multiplication of the members. Now, verse number 1B there. Look, we have multiplication leads to what? Wait a minute. Multiplication leads to mummy. I remember when my mother was having children. Of course, I was a little boy. I didn't know what was going on. But uh, I remember my mother saying to my daddy, Tom, we need some more rooms because you can't have all, all, all seven children in one room. They're all right when they're babies, but when they start growing and getting teenagers, we've got to do something. Somebody say amen. amen. Now, that's a problem. But it's not a bad problem. Right. It's just a good problem. You're just going to have to build, build uh, the house, build another room. That's pretty good. Yep. So it led to murmuring. Then it says, there arose a murmuring of the Grecian against the Hebrew. What Grecian? The Grecian men were, were murmuring against the Hebrew in the congregation. Uh-huh. You listening? Say amen. amen. Because they're widows. Who's widows? These Grecian widows. Uh-huh. Watch it. Were what? Let me tell you something. The apostles didn't, the, the leadership, they, they didn't see that. Yeah. Brother, listen to this. Sometimes good leaders don't see everything. Right. Human. It's human. Yes, it's something you don't see. Right. Now, when it was brought to your attention, they had to do something about it. Right. Right? Neglected, neglected in the daily administration. What do you mean? Daily food. Mm-hmm. Mumbling led to ministry. Yes, sir. Wait a minute. When there's a mumbling going, somebody need to go to work. Yes, sir. Amen. This word ministry here has to do with work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please listen. Now, watch this now. Ministry of funding for the widows. Now, watch this. Then the twelve. Look at it. Then the twelve, that's the apostles, called a multitude of disciples unto them. What do you mean? The twelve disciples, the apostles, called the whole congregation together. Uh-huh. You see that? And said, it is not reason that we should look. Leave the word of God and serve to you. Hmm. Make I've been in the church well, 40 some years and uh, I have not had the privilege of preaching just preaching only. What do you mean? I haven't had the privilege to just preach only. That's all I did was preach. Uh-huh. I got some friends that's all they ever done was just preach and study. Yes, sir. They didn't have to do nothing else. But in my case, I had to do it all. Yes, sir. And still doing it. Right. But Job getting a little old now. Yes, sir. Getting a little old, slowing down. You got me? Hey, Amen. Yes, Look, at this. a lot of times, hey, amen. Stuff go on. Uh, it's like a, a a woman in a home and husband, and they're having children. Say so they end up with 12 children. Well, they the woman done had 12 children, Joe. Now they start growing up. Now these kids need to go to work now. Yes, sir. I mean, mama, listen, it comes a time when mama's going to have to do all this cooking. Yes, sir. Daddy ain't going to have to do all this work, and now we need to find somebody in their family that can go to work. Yes, sir. Somebody save me. Amen. See that? Good, Got it? Now, let me let me throw this in. Sometimes women make the mistake of growing girls up and don't teach them nothing. Uh-huh. Don't teach them how to cook. Don't teach them how to clean up. Don't teach them how to do nothing. Right. Then they go out and get married, start having problems. Well, that's a little excursion. Let me get back to the main course here now. 
Yeah. So we got a ministry. He called, they called the twin. Say it ain't good for me to just leave the preaching the word right. because that's priority. Right. That's number one. Right. To serve table. Right. Sometimes in congregation of uh, uh, individuals want the preacher to do everything. Right. Want to do all the visiting, all the sick, and everything. Yeah. Well, I the sister need a pie over there. Well, you need to pick a pie and take wait wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not my job. That's all, all our job. Right. See, I'm doing what a lot of you can't do, and that's preaching and right. teaching. All right. Now, that's what you can do. You need to do that. Right. Come right. on, say amen. amen. Right? If you can cook, go to somebody. See, you can visit somebody, you go visit. Right. I'll be ragged and running like a jaybird, trying to run to everybody's house, everybody gets sick. We right. need some help. Right. Talk to me, somebody. Good. Good? Now, let's go a little further here. Then he said, Wherefore, for this reason, brethren, Look ye out among you seven men. He didn't stop there. Mm -hmm. He didn't just say seven men. Right. He said seven men of what? Honest report. Oh, there's a lot of preaching here, Mike. Can we go in our neighborhood and find seven men in our neighborhood that's honest? Mm. All right. Can we find seven men in a community of a hundred men? Can we find seven in there that don't have tattoos and earrings in the ears? Mm. Can we find seven men in our community that don't drink and smoke and just act a fool and run around? Can we find seven? Yep. Can we? See, I'm looking at here, this lesson here. Uh, they didn't go outside of the congregation to find anybody. They dealt with the Christians there. So right. listen here, you need, to, you need to do your own business. Right. And that's what we need to do in black communities. We need men to stand up Amen. and be men in our community. Amen. And there's something we need to say, it ain't happening in here. Amen. Old men sitting around on the corner somewhere, hair on backwards, pants falling down. What's happening, baby? And he's 90 years old. All right. If they yeah. told you, you couldn't do nothing about it, <laughs> old as you are. All right. Hey, good, yeah. hey, man. Yeah. Now, it says, honest report. Is it anybody, can you find seven men in the neighborhood that won't still be dishonest? Yep. Can you? Now, miraculous power. Now, these men apparently had the apostles to already lay hands on them some way. Uh -huh. Then it says, full of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. This is miraculous. Right. And wisdom. That's miraculous wisdom. Right. I don't have time to deal with all that. Who we may appoint over this what? Bid. What? Bid. Paul told the church down at, uh, about Phoebe. He said, I want you to help Phoebe, my sister, with whatever business she had. Yes, There's some business going on in the church, right. and we need what? Me. Yes, sir. Let's do it, preacher. You got any men? Yep. Then it, ministry of funding for the widows. Then we have ministry of feeding of the word. Now, then it says in verse 4, the apostle said, but we will give ourselves continually to praying, prayer, and to ministering of the word. Yes, sir. Wait a minute. See, you ain't tell me, here's the apostles here. They were baptized with the Holy Spirit and God in all truth, and they didn't have written Bibles then. Right. The Bible was in them. The word was in them. So, now you mean tell me they got to stop and serve tables to these widows, and you got some men there? No, no, that's not why. No, sir. It's the same way in the Lord's church today. We don't need the preacher and the elder trying to do all this serving table. What do you got other men for? Right. Good but you got to, got to have some men that's going to be men. Right. Now, amen. Did it say, see that? Now, let's, let's go a little further here now. Then we have the ministry of fairness in the world. What do you mean, fairness? Look at this. And the saying please the whole multitude. Yes, sir. What do you mean? See, there's a problem in the church. 
And the apostles called the whole church together. And I tell you what you need to do. Y'all need to look out and find seven men. I just might as well take my time here. It's time for this church to have elders, deacons, Amen. special Amen. servants. Right? Now, don't think Brother Shannon is going to look out and choose some men for the work. Oh, uh, uh, uh. I'm just going to train men, and you see they being faithful. You're going to have to select. Amen. All right, preacher. What you say? No. You said, well, Brother Shannon going to make No, I ain't making no. You. Right. All right. You're going to have a part in this. Amen. Name for elders and deacons and special servants in the church. Listen here. Name going to part. You know they've been faithful. Now, amen. And when it come up, the name come up, what are you going to do? You're going to have a say-so in it. Amen. Oh, boy, they got quiet. They were really listening this morning. Amen. Is this good? Amen. Now, watch this. And the saying pleased the multitude and... They, is that said they? Uh -huh. Did it say they? They chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Ghost, right? And Philip, amen, and Procrius and uh, Nicocus, watch it, uh, Timmons, uh, Pamus, Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch, <coughs> watch it. Whom they set over the apostles. And when they had prayed, they laid hand on them. Yes, sir. Now, brethren, this laying on the hand was not to, to make them have miraculous gifts. They already had that. That laying on the hand there was the approval. Yes, sir. In other words, now we're going to lay hands on you. Now you go do the work. Right. Pretty good? Now, seven men. You're pretty good. Watch this here. Now, watch, watch this. Then we have ministry leads to what? Multiplication. You see, when everybody's doing the job, then the church can grow. Yes, sir. But if you got people that's trying to do the job and some not doing the job, church won't grow. Amen. Now, we got ministry led to multiplication. Look what it says. And the word of God increased. I don't mean the Bible got larger. It means they start preaching more. Word of God is preached, and the number of disciples multiplied in, in Jerusalem greatly, and a great company of priests were obedient to the faith. What are they looking at? That's pretty good. Seven men. Seven men. Twelve apostles come. Well, they sell them out. What do you mean? They start serving these women. Right? Is any widows in this church? Yeah. Uh, when it comes to they needing something, who do you think ought to do? Right. Can we find seven men in here to do it? Is it seven men? Is it seven? Is it? Can we find seven? Can we find seven? Wait a minute. Yep. Now, let me just maybe just lighten it up a little bit, Keith. I remember hearing a story one time about this man was in the bed with his wife, and the wife woke up crying. He said, wake up, wake up, what's wrong? I'm crying. So I had a dream. I had a bad dream. Well, come on, tell me about it. I don't, I don't want to tell you about it. What, what was it? Well, I really don't want to tell you about it. Well, well tell me what it was. I, I had a dream, she said, of they were selling hugs. <laughs> And she said, uh, some of the husbands went for a million dollars, some of them $500,000, and some of them $200,000, and some of them uh, $25,000. And he says, well, that, what, what's so bad about that? What, what was I going for? She said, I don't really want to tell you. <laughs> no, tell me about what. Well, guys like you were going three bunches for a dollar. <laughs> Wait a minute, is your man like that? Do they come in a bunch of three, four dollars? What kind of man do you have? Are you trying to help your man to be a faithful man? Oh boy. 
Brother Peter, would you help me out here? We, we, we don't have a lot of time to do this, but I, I think you get the, do you get the picture? Amen. Now, if you don't get this, now just go home and read this now. It took me a long time to do that. See, I'm just trying to make it real simple because they cut my time so short here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, I hope you can see this. Lesson learned from Acts chapter 6, 1, 2, 7. What kind of lesson learned? Look yeah. at this. God, good God in leadership. Maintain God-given priorities. Right. Brethren, in life, there are priorities in life. Amen. Right. One of them in the church is preach the word. Yes, sir. That comes first. Amen. But there's some other problem that's going to occur. Right? You got to have your priorities correct. Right. Sometimes people like to have all kind of activities and don't worry about preaching. Mm -hmm. No, you got the priorities, mister. Amen. First yeah. things first. Yes, sir. All right? Watch this next. Work as a unified Team. Amen. If a problem arises here, and we got some problems that's coming up, not major, then we're going to need me. Mm -hmm. All right. You going to stand up? Amen. You going to be here? I'm preaching that. Mm -hmm. yeah. You say you're a man in the church? If something needs to be done, wait a minute. We, we, it's a lot of stuff to be done. Amen. And we got some folk around here that's doing a good job. And I think this is a good time to say it. And he didn't pay me to say that. And that's a, a what is his name? A Robert. Do y'all know, a, is it Brother David? Robert yes, David. Yes, sir. He, he did like clockwork. Yes, sir. He, he did like clockwork. Y'all see him out there? Man. He, he like clockwork. Yes, sir. He gets stuff done. I said, bless his heart. Bless his heart. Yes, sir. And you know, he, he ain't. He ain't 50 no more. No, sir. He, I didn't know he was 70. Yes, sir. Well, man, wait a minute. He's still going. Yes, sir. Amen. But, Brother Shannon, is anybody else? Yes, I'm just talking about Brother Nathan now. Just don't get jealous of Brother Nathan. Right. We got a lot of good folks here. Right. They right. 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 Yes. Brother Irvin, they, 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 these guys in Benel, they doing an excellent job. Yes, sir. But you see, you need to know this. Right. And the men here who just come here on Sunday morning and sit and have a sermon and leave, is that all you're doing? Right. Can, you, can, can you help us out a little bit? Amen. But see, right. first thing, you need to be faithful. Right. Yes, see, we don't know if you're going to ever be here or not. I don't know. Right. Boy, boy, Amen. boy. Boy, that, boy, look at that. It, it got quiet here on me. Right. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It, it, it's going to take a team. Amen. I, 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 I like this about Marine Corps. They say a few good men. Yes, sir. Right. Jesus took 12 men along with the apostle Paul III, and turn the world upside down. Yes, sir. What about you? Could you have been part of that 12? All right. Good, Amen. All right. Look at, look at this. Wisely dealt with the problem. What do you mean? They wisely dealt with it. The apostles, wait a minute. No, you think we're going to come in here and serve your widows, and you got these old men sitting around here? Look out among yourselves. Come on, talk to them. Sometimes you ought to go to the men in the congregation, watch it, listen, and say, no, listen here, why don't you start being, getting there a little early just so you can kind of help out Amen. instead of coming in to the last minute Amen. and then leaving early. What's going on? All right. What's happening? What's, what's happening? Help us. I remember right. hearing this one time. Uh, uh, the boy said, uh, 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 Mama, the milk brand bring the milk. We get food stamps. And, and the mailman bring the mail. What what did daddy do? <laughs> right. Yes, sir. All right. Involve the whole congregation. Yes, sir. That's what I told you. And brethren, this pattern right here will go for elders and special servants. Yes, sir. Talk to me, somebody. Yes, See this process here? Man. Look at that. And oh. Now, don't think one time we're leaving the women. We're not overlooking the women. It's just some things in the church God wants men to do. Right. Amen. Men need to step up. 
Come on. Step up. We don't have no women preachers in the Lord's church. Why? Then God put that for, for me. Right. And we don't have no women deacons in the church. God put that for me. We don't have no women elders in the right, church. Right. God put that for me. But the men need to stand up. Right. Amen. Stand up. Be a man. Yes, sir. If you ain't doing nothing at home, you ain't going to do nothing here. Amen. Why you got to stay on you all the time there? Watching here, the God, something needs to be fixed over here. Got to stay on you all the time. What's really going on? Amen. We need more black men in our community to stand up. Amen. We need black men to stand in our community. We're not going to have this garbage in our communities. We're not going to have this right. food yes, in our school. Right. Black men need to do it. Amen. Don't need no white folk taking care of our business. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. I don't need no white man to come in my house tell me, or send me a letter, you need to take care of your wife and children. What? Amen. I'm a man. Amen. And I don't need no sign to prove it either. Amen. No. Amen. I'm a man in the church of Christ. Amen. Amen. God has raised us up. And we need to be men. And when we're men, the women will be proud of us. Right. Amen. That's up. That's good, preacher. Amen. Boy, the time is growing up. Empower others. Yes, sir. What? Yeah. There's some things that women can do that men can't do right. in the church. And sometimes women say, ain't nothing for me to do. Really? Right. You said, ain't nothing for you to do. There's so much you can do in the church. I tell you what, if you take, take a little time to stay off that telephone, and watch, you can do a lot of this stuff in right. the church. Amen. We, oh, I know I'm hitting somebody pretty hard, Man. but you count the hours that you spend looking at TV and on the cell phone. Just count the hours up. And in the church, and a lot of work needs to be done. Yes, somebody said, well, some, there's some paper down there. Somebody ought to pick it up. <laughs> well, ain't you somebody? Amen. Wait a minute now. When you empowered to do something, these men did it. Yes, sir. They took care of business. Man. They didn't come back to the apostle. Well, what, what do you think of how we No, you ought to be qualified already to go ahead and do it. Now, what was the result? What was the result? Word of God increased. So you got the physical thing. Sometimes you have problems, you just got to fix them. Right. They, they, they watch this now. Sometimes you're getting ready to go on to church, or getting ready to go on vacation, getting ready to something, and all of a sudden, here you got a low tie. Mm -hmm. You got a flat tie. Somebody got to fix the tie. Right. Who's going to fix it? Or the little baby back there, let, put the baby, no, nah, baby can't do it. No, no. Well, wife, well let, let your wife get, well, what's wrong with you, the man? All right. we, we need more men to stand up and be mean. Amen. And then once they took care of the problem, the word of God increased. What do you mean? They watch the word of God was spread. They preached right. more. All right. Number two, or, uh, B, number of disciples increased. Yes, sir. The more you preach, the bigger they get. Yes, sir. Amen. Number C, many of the Levitical priesthood obeyed the faith. Yes, sir. What'd you say? There were some priests under the law of Moses that were still practicing that stuff. When they heard the gospel preached, they obeyed the truth. Right, right. Now, brethren, let me tell you something. We got a program at this congregation here where we are spreading the gospel on five channels on TV, five mm -hmm. different uh -huh. times, uh -huh. even in Jackson, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. We got programs on Wednesday. We got programs on uh, what is right, it? Right. Friday, we got programs on Saturday, and we got programs today, and we live streaming now. Right. Now, who's involved in that? Now, my my little Caleb is leaving. He's gone. He's gone. We got to have somebody take his place. Right. Right. Amen. Right. Good, Boy, that's good, nice. Good. Everybody love Brother Shannon? Yes, sir. That good? That's something for, for us all to do. Somebody said, well, I just can't come. I can't do this, can't do this. You can at least come. Right. Man. You right. tell somebody about the television program. And you know you can give. We don't turn your money down. Right. Because we need it to be on. Is that good? Yeah. If you haven't been giving like y'all, y'all said, well, you know what? 
at least I can't be there because no, my situation won't allow me to do anything. But I'm, where's Brother Northlake? He's not here today. Brother Northlake said, Brother Shannon, I'm going to tell you something. I'm not cutting the grass, but I'll give you some money to get somebody to cut it. Right. Well, come on, I'll shake his hand over there. <laughs> hey, man, is that right? Hey, man, sometimes people just don't have time to come here. Right. But it's something you can do somewhere. Right. They can do better? Right. That's enough. That's enough. But we got to look at, we got a lost world. God has put this church in this area here for Fraser. And don't think the people in Fraser don't know we exist. Right. They come by here, but they see on television. Good? They see all of you. Amen. They, they see you. Amen. They don't want to see me. They see you. And they're bragging about these men. They said these men are the best dressing men I've ever Look at them. All of them look nice. All of them men look nice. Yes, and some of them say, are, are they married? And some of them not. And one of them pointed to Rico. I said, no, he married. <laughs> uh, no, he, he married. And I'll tell you that right quick, though. Uh, look, what's his wife's name? Latoya. He, he married. And, and, and Latoya said, yeah, he is married. <laughs> but some of them are not married. Amen. But let me tell you something. People, they're watching us. Right. Got it? But Amen. look here. We can do it. We, listen here. We got a job to do. I know the pandemic and all that kind of slowed things up. But it ain't stopped us. No stop. Why? Amen. Because we're on a mission. In my Amen. conclusion. The early church, they heard the gospel. Peter preached the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. They heard it. They cried out and said, Me and brethren, what shall we do? Listen to this. Peter told them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the midst of sin. And the Bible said, And they that glad to receive the word were baptized. And the same day were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Verse 47 says, Praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily. Such as should be saved. <clears throat> the churches of Christ in Memphis ought to be adding folk daily. Amen. You can't add to church daily preachers, preachers and elders, Bible school teachers. You can't do that waiting on table. You need special folks for that. Right. Talk to me, somebody. Are you here today? You remember the Church of Christ? And you just fade away. Why don't you return it? Together we stand in the same. Thank you for watching uh, this television program. Please continue to watch and May God continue to bless you and your family.